Hey there, future doctors. Today I'm gonna help you decode your CBC blood test results like a pro. A complete blood count or CBC is one of the most common blood tests and gives us a detailed snapshot of our overall health. Let's dive right in. First up we have white blood cells or WBCs. These are the body's defense army fighting off infections. A normal WBC count ranges from 4,000 to 11,000 cells per microliter. If your WBC count is high, it might indicate an infection, inflammation, or even leukemia. A low count? That could mean bone marrow problems or autoimmune diseases like lupus. White blood cell differential. Neutrophils, 40% to 60% of the total WBCs. High levels indicate bacterial infection or inflammation. Low levels indicate risk of infection. Lymphocytes, 20% to 40% of the total WBCs. High levels indicate viral infection or chronic inflammatory conditions. Low levels indicate immune deficiency. Monocytes, 2% to 8% of the total WBCs. High levels indicate chronic infection or inflammation. Eosinophils, 1% to 4% of the total WBCs. High levels indicate allergic reactions or parasitic infections. Basophils, 0.5% to 1% of the total WBCs. High levels indicate allergic reactions or leukemia. Next, let's talk about red blood cells or RBCs. These guys are the oxygen couriers, transporting oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Normal levels vary, but generally men have 4.7 to 6.1 million cells per microliter, and women have 4.2 to 5.4 million. Low RBC counts can lead to anemia causing fatigue and weakness, bleeding, or bone marrow failure. High counts could point to dehydration or heart disease, polycythemia vera, hemoglobin or HGB is the protein in RBCs that carries oxygen. Normal levels are roughly 13.8 to 17.2 grams per deciliter for men and 12.1 to 15.1 grams for women. Low hemoglobin levels also indicate anemia. High levels? Think about polycythemia vera or chronic lung disease. Then we have hematocrit or HCT. This measures the percentage of your blood that's made up of RBCs. Normal ranges are 40.7 to 50.3% for men and 36.1 to 44.3% for women. Low hematocrit. It could be another sign of anemia or severe blood loss. High levels might mean dehydration or a rare bone marrow disorder. Platelets or plats are the tiny blood cells that help your blood clot. Normal platelet counts range from 150,000 to 450,000 per microliter. If your count is low, it could lead to excessive bleeding or bruising, often seen in conditions like thrombocytopenia. High platelet counts might indicate chronic inflammation or bone marrow diseases. Mean corpuscular volume or MCV measures the average size of your RBCs. Normal MCV ranges from 80 to 100 femtoliters. A low MCV suggests microcytic anemia, often due to iron deficiency. High MCV? That might be macrocytic anemia, potentially caused by vitamin B12 or folate deficiency. Next is mean corpuscular hemoglobin or MCH. This tells us how much hemoglobin is in each RBC. Normal MCH ranges from 27 to 33 picograms. Low MCH indicates hypochromic anemia, often due to iron deficiency. High MCH can be seen in macrocytic anemia. Red cell distribution width, RDW. Definition measures the variation in the size of red blood cells. Normal range, 11% to 15%. High RDW may indicate mixed anemia. For example, iron and B12 deficiency, recent blood transfusion or bone marrow response to treatment. Finally, mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration or MCHC. This measures the concentration of hemoglobin in your RBCs. Normal MCHC is 32 to 36 grams per deciliter. Low MCHC indicates hypochromic anemia while high MCHC might point to hereditary spherocytosis. Interpreting CBC results. Normal ranges. Each component of the CBC has a normal reference range, which can vary slightly depending on the lab and the patient's age and sex. Deviations from normal. Abnormal results can indicate various conditions, but must be interpreted in context with other clinical findings and tests. For example, anemia low RBC count, low hemoglobin, and low hematocrit. Infection, high WBC count. Bone marrow disorders, abnormal WBC, RBC, and platelet counts. Example interpretation. Low hemoglobin and hematocrit may suggest anemia. Further tests could determine if it's due to iron deficiency. 
vitamin B12 deficiency, or another cause. High WBC count may suggest an infection or inflammation. A differential can provide more information on whether it's bacterial, um, viral, or another type of infection. Low platelet count may suggest a risk of bleeding disorders. Possible causes include bone marrow problems or autoimmune diseases. All right, that's a wrap. Remember, these numbers are just a piece of the puzzle. Always consult with a healthcare professional to get a complete picture. Hit that like button if you found this helpful, and subscribe for more med school tips. Stay curious and keep learning. Catch you in the next video.